Hey, Scruffapone, thank you for those gift subs. Thank you so much. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Control. I am digging this game so far. This is super engrossing. They're telling you just enough to keep you interested. There's just enough mystery here. The tone of this is really cool. What do you got for us, Emily? The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, we got a few things to ask about here. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty yeah. shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. That's here. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. Hey, Akane, thank you. The oldest house doesn't myself. like attention. Totally understandable. This to is a neat game. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Hmm. Okay. Must have gotten information from the brother. What about the director? This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. Psychic See, energy. He was killed by the service weapon, your gun. Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. No. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. It's mine now. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> She's Got really it. excited about this. Thanks. That answer was so just like, oh, yeah, 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 I got this. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, Turn that down. them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Sorry, just answering a text real quick. All right, that seems to be everything we can, ans we can ask about. Doing a test stream now. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay. Gotta go pick up a phone. Enter the communications department.
always forget what the map button is. Let's get spooky. There it is again. A welcome message. Yeah, the only person you should fail is yourself. I did turn subtitles on, right? Let's just make sure I did that. Pretty sure I turned subtitles on. make sure it's not in this room. I don't think it is. And yeah, there's the mute copyrighted music button. Ah! to check. Yeah, I do get rumble here. Love when I get rumble on this wireless thing on um, on my Wii U Pro controller. Summary. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge, Okay. Whoa, hang on. Mini bar, $313. Jeez. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Heinz. Boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. I see. It's true that they always overcharge on the mini bar, depending on where you go, but to spend 300 bucks on a mini bar is quite a bit. Let's see if we can find the, sh the source of this chanting. Hey, I don't remember getting that picture taken. Get out of here. Supernatural pictures. Oh. That's altered. That's different. I'm definitely doing better at shooting in this game than I did at RE7, that's for sure. Didn't have infinite ammo in that game. Nostalgia department? I didn't catch that, actually. I'm gonna have to... 
we got here? His barrier. His resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Appears as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Destroy the his entities. Okay. Refer to file redacted for report. Dead letters. There were a few ways to go here. There was also that red area up there. Oh, and there's a shelter here, too. It's locked. Is this a barrier? This must be a barrier. Hmm. Got there. So there's optional stuff. Cool. Rejoice in the glory of combat. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of that a bit. That's uh. Oh. Yes, it's overpowering here. I see. You don't want me anywhere near it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You on that. I got you. Too much Kool-Aid. Also, yeah, the, the wall does look like it's made of bismuth, which is a sweet rock, sweet mineral. One of the two. Okay, let's go to... Comms department? Locked off. Also locked off here. All right, looks like it's up to dead letters then. Ah, really good lighting, really good contrast and everything. Visual design is just great. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move here. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on its own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Big one. Crouch. Nice, I could just pop out from crouching. I saw you over there. There you are. Cool. 
shatter recoil efficiency. Oh, here we go. Exclusive to shatter. Weapon armor damage. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's do armor damage. So I can only have one personal mod right now. Let's do energy recovery. Wiggling around a bit too much. I see. This is a control point. Communications department. Hang on, I see some tubes I have to upset. There we go. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. <laughs> and once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few people did mention that. Yeah, he does sound a bit familiar. And I did play Alan Wake years ago. I have done nothing but launch cups for four days. Yeah, look at him go. Oh no. That's probably very sensitive, expensive equipment. Don't need the fast travel. Communications are on the right track. Oh wow, a cigarettes vending machine. Unbranded, or are they just empty? No, these have brands.
Can't get some smokes? Alright, fine. Don't bring dogs into the office. Some of us have allergies. What about cats? Acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard. <laughs> if interested, see Greg in maintenance. Food left in the refrigerator in containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. <laughs> Delays caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Spinning out of control? Yes. <laughs> these are good. I like these. Oh, wait. There was one more. Book club. It's really hard to read, though. Picking up some of this. Oh, you can zoom in on stuff? How do you do that? Or is that just the, uh. Oh, that's melee. Escape menu. Photo mode. Oh. Oh, cool. So it like pauses the game so I can take cool pictures. That's neat. And I can adjust the field of view and the aperture. <sighs> yeah, give me that 2.8. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very neat. Camera speed. Very interesting. Very cool. Oh no! He got tubed! Barrier. An object of power. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There goes my cover. It has all the tubes. I don't think that's working. Someone might have copied that floppy. Ah! This way.
What? Where'd you go? Get back here. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Align the cube, sorry. Okay, so that's my right bumper. I do need some health. So you just, you just rip it out of the wall if you don't have anything nearby. Okay, and you can grab two things before you need to recharge. Hey, Dr. Floor Pills, how you doing? We're back. We're back, baby. I don't have any health. There we go. Okay, the aiming is very generous on this. Ow. Oh. Oh, he snuck up on me. I didn't even notice. All right, first death. Failed challenge. Let's do that right. Neat splash screen, though. What do we load in? Okay, here. Not fall off. Ooh, double. get snuck up on this time. Oh shit. Somebody snuck up on me. Hey Twack, how you doing? When you're picking up stuff to throw, if it's an object from behind the enemy, it tends to conk them in the head for damage. Cool. Yes, we are finally live again. There you 
are. You were gone. Cut off. Uh oh. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me. This. Might be too far away. Oh shit, there's a guy. Oh, I gotta recharge. Back! There was a guy coming this way. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Ah, feels good. Neat mechanics. Does this game have fall damage? It probably does. It looks like it might. Yes. Okay. It does, but it's not too bad. Okay. Hmm. Still don't have the clearance. Now, I can fast travel back to that first area, but... Yeah, they want me to be here. Where are you going? This the spot that had the corruption. Book club. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this is all right. The title, unless you could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got annoying real fast. Best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and gun space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring plants like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. The scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dog flight between two ace pilots? Sign me the- Space dog f fight, not flight, between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. <laughs> Are we going to be finding more book club stuff? I hope so. I want to read more imaginary book reviews. Hey, Son of Bozo, how you doing? Control is really fun. I, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Been running very well, too. I am slightly lost. That goes back to pneumatics. Yeah. We are ultimately looking for communications department. Executive mailroom. Okay. This way. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. Yeah. Well, oh, here comes the chanting. Oh, I see. Yellow spot is where I need to go. Gotcha. 
up to me to figure out how to do it. Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have, become, have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like the boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem was being ruined, ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns make the public much less likely to have redacted. So another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring redacted, redacted, and redacted for any off-message opinions, but it looks like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. There you go, global warming events are actually para paranatural. There's a key nearby. Ah. This must open the door. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You've got one of those devices. How did you die? I guess you could still get attacked by Hiss. Yeah, it, I, it doesn't protect you from bullets, does it? I guess that makes sense. Okay, here's a control point. Yeah, the devices just keep you from turning into a monster. They don't protect you from said monsters. Okay, we can fast travel a little later, but not yet. Let's... Check the bathrooms. Ooh, very dark bathroom here. Pitch black bathroom. No clearance on these bathrooms, just no security at all. Unfathomable. The tube room. They can fly. Great. Oh boy. He dodged. Oh, it's boss time, huh? Where is he? Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Give me that health.
Uh, it's a file, but I don't have time. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you in the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? Alright, I gotta use the gun for this dude, huh? Oh shit, wait, who's shooting at me? <clears throat> I can't see who's shooting. Oh shit! Oh, behind me. It was behind me. So people are saying, this is a tough boss. All right. So I might die a few times. Increase combat effectiveness. Bosses are generally pretty tough. Gotcha. Fortunately, they put a control point right there. I guess that's why it's there. Let's um, take a look at my mods real fast. Uh, armor damage or shatter recoil efficiency. Oh, let's get health recovery. That'll help me out. That'll keep me alive longer here. Stay on this side of the room. Make sure to kill ads so we've got extra health lying around. Get out of here. Oh, I've taken some damage. see some health over there and over there, but I'm a little afraid to go get it. Not until I get flushed out of here. There you are. Get out of that corner. But you know what? This is an opportunity for me.
Where? Upstairs, maybe. Ah, uh, armor. Did I get him? Not yet. I have a feeling he'll be back. Hmm. All right. Fight's Let's over. Stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. That was tense. Pretty tough first boss. He only dodges so much, I see. This area is very dense. I'm going to examine it thoroughly. That seems to be where they want me to go. I don't know if I got that file downstairs. I saw, like, a file or two. Okay, that file's got. I already got that one. It looks like it saves when I, when I pick up files and die. to wait for help. I am the help. Oh, no. Was there another... It looked like something was read over upstairs. Looks like something was red and glowy over on this end. Let's see if I can find a thing over here. They were probably blocking off this door, but... Control parameters. Hmm. Some math. That looks locked. This is not locked. Ghosts. 
We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. <laughs> I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Ugh. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, Somewhere along the line, things went weird. No one was sure how it happened, whether it was something caused by someone or something, or if it just happened by itself. There are a lot of stories. Everyone had a theory of how it happened, which may be the weirdest. And preamps only... In prompts? We fittingly singled out here was talk about a strange golden space helmet that someone had found and a secret research project to replicate and manufacture those helmets. Who wrote this? Report to Dr. Darling. Sorry about your desk. Okay, seems like that was just some lore. Oh, and a shelter. Hang on. Okay, there's a mod. Okay, there's my fast travel. to the mail room. No, wait. Wasn't that the room? No, that goes out to the room with the control point. That goes to where the dude went. Okay. Hotline chamber. Yeah. Takes me a little bit to get my bearings. Roberto Tomasi, head of company. Sorry. Issue date, 
2016, October 21st. Expiration date, 2019, October 21st. Tomasi Alberto. Bombs. The hiss got him. Hmm. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. <laughs> Honestly, with the odds and all that item to show up inside a U.S. embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier. To... Are you still recording this? But, or is it Butte? I'm not sure. A spate of disappearances were traced to a home in the city of Butte, where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at Redacted, which had been connected to a total of Redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house redacted days later, found in the sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in Butts Holmes' closet disappeared during the incident. It's Butte. Yeah. I think it's Butte, Montana, right? Sure, this will come up eventually. People did mention there's like a, a like a store kind of thing. The hotline can't be far now. Upgrade currency, yeah. Thing wasn't even bolted to the wall. It's like taped. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. Drinking the minibar worked. <laughs> The disappearances of the homeowner and the locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted, but the initial hypothesis center on the Butte AWE is a redacted, redacted. See Dr. Darling, presentation 24.3 for more details. Interesting. Light switch cord, you say. Huh. 
hotline security log. Director Trench and Bill Everett. Neither of neither of which we've met. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Bill Everett and Carol Bishop we have not met. Oh, do I have more stuff to read? Hang on. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry. Okay, we heard this one. America overnight. Yeah, we heard these. Ah, these are, uh... I see. He is elevated. Paranatural capabilities. Okay, to the chamber. Hang on, there's some really good color contrast here. All right, let me just line this up. Yeah, you can see how the aperture affects. Uh, the aperture affects the depth of field, which is going to be how far from the focal point is going to be in focus. So F64 is huge, but it's a pinhole aperture, so very little light gets in, and you need a longer exposure time. F2.8 is a pretty good number. And focus distance determines where it's going to focus. Whoop. There we go. Thank you for bearing with me. Let's pull that cord. Wait a minute, hang on. Catalyst light switch, the law of three applies. <sighs> Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. The door with the Black Pyramid. Alright, I'll get to you in a moment.
<laughs> yeah, right next to the spiral room. I demand service. Two, two, three. Two, two, two. Wait a minute. The rule of three applies. Hang on. Okay, just checking. Never been to Montana. I did live below it. Not well. Lived in Denver for a few years, but I never went anywhere outside of uh, Colorado. Wait, hang on. Took me a little bit, but yeah, I did see it. Got there eventually. Ambience in here is great. They did such a good job with these environments. Well. I think this is one of the places they spent all the whiskey money at. Mission updated. Pick up the phone. Hey, Hammer Bros, how you doing? Back in the astral plane. Oh yeah, I do remember you. Of course. Good to see you, Al. Yeah, that was a good night. Had a good time. What is that? Yeah, is is that good? 
I don't know if it liked that or not. I can't quite... It doesn't seem to care about anything I'm doing to it. The Death Katamari. Oh, God! <laughs> that startled me. Thank you, Robust Laser, for that sub. The orb that eats. I love how it does nothing. It just doesn't care. Alright, so it seems like these are obstacles that will just eat you. Encountering these things in the non-astral plane seems like it's going to be terrifying because they're just going to block my way. <laughs> Object of power. Mm. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Director speaking. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Hmm. I have it. The hotline. We've I can done reach it. Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Okay. I need to warp. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Hmm. Is it too soon to tell Emily? Yeah, there's she still a mystery. To help. She keeps saying, she keeps referring to us, the player, or maybe it's like I'm thinking she's referring to her brother, and I think she's got some kind of some kind of psychic connection with either you, the player, or her brother. And that's just my going theory right now. That is now a hotline selection. I see. Oh, yeah, these are all the scenes we saw. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. Yeah. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. 
even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. <laughs> Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red bake like telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black, nomen, black knob of unknown origin. The phone weighs redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. Object is currently bound to Director Trench. Not anymore, it's not. Bound to us. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Yeah, lethal redacting. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Oh. Oh. Secret door. Bureau funding. I know there was some concern regarding our bu operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate from within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over, with, over us as if we weren't even there. Our being here is no accident. I like how now we're there, now we're in that picture. Oh. Body's gone. Bloodstain's still there, but the body's gone. Hmm. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would say our name. Like we were already certified. There's a squish when you step in the blood? Hang on. I'm squishing it up. Oh, wow, you can do some wild moves when you, uh... <laughs> got some good flow here. When you just rotate. Sorry, I had to destroy the whiskey. Okay, uh, this goes back to... Oh, hey, now I've got a clearance card, so let's check this room out. We got a file here. Agent death notification. Oh, boy. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against her enemy. I mean, he was probably fighting some supernatural weird thing, so yeah, that's probably actually really true. I sincerely regret this pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing his sacrifice helped protect the country he loves so much. Yeah, they're going to need to write a lot of these forms. <laughs> yeah, he got bonked by physics objects or something. What happened to him? Bonk. This is the same place where we found the guide to writing letters to relatives of dead agents. Yeah. 
and they were like and they were like using certain words and other words were redacted like Alaska don't say sorry Where was Emily? In the boardroom? We do not have any other outfits. I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. One thing at a time. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Chunch is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And Thank all you. that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. I if you agree, that is. L we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Maybe. Okay. If you think all it will right. help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, Hammer Bros. Good to see you. Alright, now I can upgrade. Do we have more to talk about? Well, let's f first check uh, documents, because people said their new documents spawn. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, even humans, radically changing their behavior. Any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director. Okay, this is a 
brand new document, Jesse Thayden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could all indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. A final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material in organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file redacted for full report. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directorial override and lift the internal lockdown. Hi, Jesse. Okay, this is all old stuff. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Hmm. Singing. Sounds well, like it's coming from the elevator. Possible. Like what? We can't get any equipment from the research sector until the internal lockdown is lifted. Then see what you can find around here. Computers, documents, any measuring devices you can find. Help me prove is a surefire way to get on Darling's good side. Let's see what we can upgrade. Oh my. Okay, health. We got health upgrades, we got energy upgrades, we got melee upgrades, and we got launch damage. Yeah, I want that upgrade launch. The butler. Thank you for that sub. The board is happy slash grateful to see you <laughs> streaming slash broadcasting slash showing off again. We look forward to slash are impatient for more. Thank you, and thank you for watching once again. Let's see, I still got three points left. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Okay, I need more points. I'll take some more health too. Weapon forms, you say? Oh. Okay. Construct a random weapon mod. Common, common, common. Personal mods. I see. Oh, are these side quests? So should I just take all of these or can I only take a few at a time? Looks like I can take three at a time. Okay. Still only a civilian. I do have another weapon mod or weapon form. I see, I've unlocked a new weapon form.
Gotta make it first. Gotcha. Okay, we'll get there. Board countermeasures. Looks good. <laughs> you have to get me a snack. Sandwich slash hot dog. Actually, let's uh let's take a look at some of these hotline things. No, that's not what I meant. Uh... Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. Worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. Hmm. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. That incident. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. <gasps> he said it! Pain. <laughs> Interesting. They say the new director can launch objects up to twenty feet. Bullshit. We've never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. <laughs> I mean, I was just I was, I was just hammering on the button to demonstrate, but okay, fine. I guess I can't show them how far I can launch things. Technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use technological elements, uh, instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal, any redacted signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house. Even those are often unreliable. 
the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new and the cultural redacted for the oldest house to redacted them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the redacted to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Redacted agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Wow. Scary. Ooh. Clearance level four. Okay. Yeah, or they could have, or they were just Samsung phones, who knows, right? You guys are still up there? Still up there. Which room is this? Executive Affairs. Didn't they say to destroy some hiss in here? From Marshall's eyes only, Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. We need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Special Agent Keenum. Tired of not getting killed by paranatural entities. I see, so Hiss will spawn, but not all the time. <laughs> Dinner reservations. 7 p.m. at Shea Ombre. Wife will meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Bureau's really got their, uh, their people covered, huh? You can't get any work done up there. Was curious if I could do it. Happy that I can. You get a shower. Kind of just running around, uh, winding down for today, and I wanted to just run around and find some more files and stuff. Rising cost of AWE response, update on mold eradication efforts, upcoming annual salary review. Oh boy. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. <laughs> um, I do want to say that uh, in, let's see, it's 2 o'clock right now, Eastern Time. In two hours, I will be on Rockus' stream of uh, Undertale. He will be doing the pacifist run of Undertale, and that'll be in a couple of hours on twitch.tv slash raucous42. So I hope you'll join us for that as well. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Mm -hmm. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, 
Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Bing, bing, bing. I walked through this area earlier, didn't I? But I must I missed a lot of files. Yeah, Rockus is doing a little better. Uh, he got some he got some meds and a better diagnosis for his eye. But uh, it's it's pretty rough to play games when your eye is inflamed and stuff. So I totally understand why he had to cancel that one stream. Should be good for tonight. Or at least that's what he told me yesterday, last night. Power utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals' paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the redacted object of power as an example, some para- Okay, throw distance. My others are only capable of as little as redacted. The stuff determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it's largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, but considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. I see. Northmore, he's special. Dog. <laughs> All right, I gotta take a picture of that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Do as you're told. Don't eat mold. No! All right, folks. I think I will... Oh. In person, with a pencil and paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. <laughs> I think I will call it there for today. Expect another stream tomorrow. We will continue with this, because this game seems rad as hell. Uh, does it save automatically? I think it saves automatically, right? Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you for your support and all the subscriptions. Uh, and yeah, uh, tune in to Rockus42 later on in a couple of hours. Let me give you a link to that. All right. And until then, we'll see you folks. Have a good one.